I'm Shane Farmer, this is Dark Horse, and today is another Dark Horse workout of the day, this time, intervals. Intervals? Intervals! Intervals. Guys, welcome to another Dark Horse workout in which we are going to create a follow along workout for you to follow along with on the rowing machine. Traditionally, as we do these workouts, you're gonna need a few items. Number one, have your phone handy to play the video or set up erg data, which you can see I have here, to my monitor so that my workout goes straight to my monitor, gets instantly pushed to the Concept2 logbook after the workout is over so you can track your workouts. Now, if you don't have a Concept2, that is just fine. These workouts work just as well for any rowing machine you may have. With that being said, today, we are going to work on intervals. The way this is going to work is we will work on four minute centers, meaning every four minutes, I have to do a thing, okay? So every four minutes, the workout is going to be a 350 meter sprint. Then in whatever time I have left, I'm going to rest. That way we all stay together. We're all going to do the same number of intervals, our rests may vary, however, and that's just fine. Don't feel like you need to stick to what I'm doing. You're just gonna push with me. Now, the key here is that I'm going to rate cap us at a stroke rate of 26. You cannot let the stroke rate go higher than 26, and that's exactly where I'm going to peg my stroke rate. So, I would encourage you to follow my stroke rate, and yes, we will spread apart, and perhaps at the end, you may continue rowing and I may be finished, but that is okay. I want you to try and maintain a 26 and consider that your opportunity to practice stroke rate, something we should all be doing as much and as frequently as possible. All right, the way that we're going to program this workout is uh, I'm, in my head, I think this is gonna make sense. I'm gonna use it and maybe I F it up and that's fine. We will work with it in the middle of the workout if we have to. But here's how I think this is gonna work. We're gonna set up intervals, distance, with undefined rest. Now, if you don't know what that is, it simply means that your rest period is unknown. And in this instance, that will be the case because I'll be resting for what will be the equivalent of four minutes. Then I will get to press a button that says, begin rowing to start or something like that. But I'll push a button and it'll program the next interval. So I think as long as I'm paying attention to the total running time on here, we should be okay. Stick with me. I think we're gonna make this work. So with that being said, let's talk through today's workout setup. To set this up, you will go to select workout, new workout, intervals, then intervals distance. You're going to set a distance of 350 meters. To do that, you will hit the minus button two times, one, two, then the right arrow once, then the plus button five times, one, two, three, four, five, then the right arrow one, two times, and that will, it should, if you have a newer PM5 monitor. Now this will not work if you have a PM4 or lower, in which case I believe the best solution for, for you will be to set four minute time intervals with zero rest. I think that'll make the most sense. And then you'll just row 350 meters and, and then you just rest the remainder of the four minutes. I think that'll be okay. Otherwise, for those of you that have a PM5, you should see the word set rest time blinking now. I'm going to hit the plus button and that will change to undefined rest time. That means that ostensibly the monitor should be keeping a running tally of how long I'm resting. And when I'm ready, I just tell it I'm ready, good to go. And I think that will solve our problems. We'll see. After that, I'm gonna hit the check mark and I have 350 meters on my screen. With that being said, I'm gonna go get my tunes tuned in. Tune in your, your tunes if you prefer. You can listen to our Spotify linked in the playlist, in the description as always below. And uh, another thing I wanted to add and if pay attention to if you need it, is that we have started adding in the programming directions for the visually impaired. As we had a, a follower who asked us for that and I realized that's a very easy thing that we can fix. So we can start providing the programming directions for the visually impaired. So if you look in the description below, you will see the programming directions for that. So thank you to our subscriber who requested that and I appreciate it. I hope that makes these even more accessible for people. So with that being said, tune in, log on, strap in, make sure you're warmed up first. Don't come to me cool, don't start this cold. Stroke rate 26, 350 meters, 
if this thing blows up and the monitor isn't working the way I thought it, it would, I will just reset it in the middle of the workout, be ready to roll with me, and if it's working out, great, and we'll go from there. Cool? Cool. Let's get into it. All right, gang, we're getting ready to set this workout up. A couple notes. Number one, I did a quick test run through for you so we don't mess it up in the middle of the workout. Here's how it's gonna work is after the 350 is done, I'm going to get the total time that it took me to do my 350 meters, and then the clock is going to run. So you'll just have to do your own math each time. So for example, if it takes me a minute 20 to get through 350 meters, then I need to take four minutes, subtract a minute 20. I know that may be a little bit challenging in the moment, but that essentially tells me that I have two minutes and 40 seconds to rest. So do the rough math and basically whenever I start, start with me and that should probably do it. Then I'll be doing the math and you won't have to, I think that'll work. Other thing, it's gotten quite warm here in San Diego and so today I'm going shirtless. And so with that being said, let's get into this workout. Remember stroke rate 26 here. These are sprints each time, sitting ready. Attention, go. Good job. That's one down. Four to go. Just nice light rowing in these rest periods. Practice your mechanics. One more minute of rest. Remember we have five total of these. Twenty-five seconds. Two 
10 seconds. I'm gonna set the handle down, press continue to row when it's time. In three, two, one, go. Here we go, that's two down. Three left. About the same rest time. Two minutes and 55 seconds. I'm gonna take a stop and adjust my heart rate monitor slash watch which seems to work about a quarter of the time when I'm actually working out and about 90% of the time when I'm not. Somebody explain that to me. No, I'm not finished. About a minute left. Alright, 10 seconds to go, setting that handle down, and 3, 2, 1, go!
Yeah. That's three. All right, monitor, still not working. I so badly want to get heart rate information. This monitor doesn't seem to want to work. I think that would be principle one, right? Workout watch. Let's test and see how it does recording heart rate during workouts. Oh. About two minutes of rest left. Heart rate isn't even reading right now. About 20 seconds left. Going into number four. Ten seconds left. Five, three, two, one, go. Number four, one left. Two minutes to go. Mm. 
going to try and adjust again. See if we have any luck. Let's try the inside of the wrist, huh? See if that works. One minute to go for our final set. <sighs> really try and squeeze every stroke. Push on those machines. Whatever machine you're using, push those feet down into it. 25 seconds. Last set, coming up. Ten seconds. Five. Three. Two, one, go. Keep spinning it out. Stay at that 26 if you're still going. Keep moving. All right, you keep going. I'm gonna stop and chat. Guys, fantastic job. You showing up means the world to you. I am so proud of you for deciding to do this workout. Thank you for joining me. As always, these workouts are for you guys. You are the ones that motivate me to show up and do this. I would not be doing this if it weren't for you. So thank you for all that you do and giving to me so that I can give back to you guys. Um, if this, if you want to tell your own story, if you want to blaze your own path, if you believe that you've got something more in you, you are a dark horse. And if you just followed along with this, you made it all the way through and this clicked for you and it felt good, you are a dark horse. And if that's you and if this makes sense and you want to keep being a part of this community, click that subscribe button with a little bell next to it because you're going to get alerted every time we come out with a new video just like this. So guys, thank you as always for tuning in. I love you all and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the other side.
Hey guys, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this and you want more, we've partnered with our friends at Ascense to guide, monitor, and correct you through your workouts while I am personally coaching you through your training plan. Now this is unlike anything you have ever experienced before. If that sounds interesting to you and you wanna check it out, click below to start your Dark Horse journey.